Welcome to Passion Fruit Farming. Today we're gonna be covering on what next or what do you do next after grafting. And we're gonna be covering six steps or six activities that you should do in order to ensure that there is successful grafting. And one of those activities is watering. So water is a key factor or a key but lack of it or excess of it may affect the seedlings so you have to ensure that you don't water excess or you don't sprinkle a lot of water and also you also have to ensure that is the light amount of water so <coughs> the, the second step or the second activity that you should do is shading if you have grafted during a hot day or a sunny day you may want to put a shade on top of your grafted seedlings this will help to avoid direct sunlight that may cause drying of the uh, buds then we have number three or act activity number three that you should do is that you, you should remove of suckers so suckers are this one you have to remove suckers that are growing below the grafted part below the grafted part so the stem part you should remove this one the suckers you should ensure that you remove those suckers because they will <coughs> they may cause the grafted bud not to be successful so you have to remove these ones that are growing then you also have to step number four is that you remove the weed the weeds that are growing here you have to remove these ones these will ensure that there is no started growth in the seedlings so it will be successful then step number five or activity number five is removal of the shade you have to remove after one week you have to remove the shade this will help to strengthen the bud such that if you take it to the real field it will have the real environment where in the seed and nursery bed so ensure that you remove the shade after one week and then the final step is to ensure that you rearrange uh, the seedlings the one that have success free and the one that is not success free and now for unsuccess free seedlings may eg like this one you can see maybe this one uh it was not either watertight or airtight so that's why it dried from here so now you you will need to repeat the process of grafting uh in my previous video of grafting you can check on the process of grafting so you need to pr to uh, uh, repeat the process by ensuring that you cut now you will not be cutting the whole part but you cut here by ensuring that you cut that part and then now you can start your process again so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends thank you